Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from JMC Rides. You're about to watch two Ford Raptors off-roading. Uh, do me a favor, since you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be putting out three to four videos per week. So hit the subscribe and sign up for the notifications. I'll be coming at you guys with lots of videos. Hope you guys enjoy. Obviously, go ahead, please pardon the quality on the video. We're keep in mind this was shot back in 2010. Back then, I think I was probably using a brick for a camera, and I probably didn't even know what a gimbal was. So, um, obviously, in my newer videos, um, I'm doing a lot more editing. I have much better uh, camera equipment, gimbals, that kind of thing. So, again, before all the haters go ahead and start blowing me up, um, this is back from 2010. Let's go ahead and. Oh, by the way, right here in the video, you'll see that we're actually filming in Mexico because if it was New York, of course, it wouldn't be legal. All right, so one of the popular things that uh, was in the comments, there's a lot of comments on this video on the, on the other channel, um, was that this isn't real off-roading. Keep in mind where I am. I mean, this is in California, so very limited on my options for the off-roading. And also, it's not a mole crawler, at least. At least I'm taking out a brand new Ford Raptor, getting it dirty, not worrying about scratches and that kind of thing. I gotta admit, I definitely put this truck through hell. This truck was very, very tough. I mean, I abused the hell out of it, never really had any problems with this truck. Definitely love this thing. All right, so start paying attention. You're gonna start hearing a little hissing sound, which is the reason why I know a lot. I got so many comments on this, you know, saying, Oh, my Jeep Cherokee probably could have driven through this and that or whatever. I could have turned on the lockers. I probably could have went to four-wheel drive low or turned on the lockers and experimented more. But I heard that hissing sound. I was losing air pressure on one of my tires. And that was a rookie mistake. The reason why I was losing air pressure, at the time, I didn't know. I thought I tore up a tire or something. I had no idea. What ended up happening was um, I, before I came... To this place to do the off-roading i had taken some air pressure out of my tires and i didn't put the caps back on and i had a little pebble that was wedged inside the little air nozzle on the tire that pushed that little pin to the side and i was losing air so thank god i didn't um i didn't like you know, bust the tire up or anything like that as soon as they pulled me out i took a look took that pebble out and we just kept off off-roading You would. You have water coming in the truck? The water's up to the door, gentlemen. On this side. Oh, let's pull him out. Right, yeah, we're gonna pull you out. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get me out. Alright. No, I was talking. Yeah, I gotta admit, this part's a little crazy. These are brand new trucks, okay? And this, there was so much mud, and we, I mean, to be honest, um, I was a rookie. I was a rookie when it came to off-roading back then. I mean, we have no idea. There could be bicycles, trash, just like all sorts of things in, the, in these woods. And we were just driving through these puddles like crazy. Um, later in the summer, we actually started, I, I started driving through there and you'd find tons of garbage. Obviously, you don't want to start driving through um, puddles and stuff like this that are frozen and you have no idea what's in there.
All right, so just watch this part. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. The new Ford Raptor, it'll, it'll never sound like this. You can just hear the roar coming from my truck with the 2010 now. I love the way the new Raptor looks, and I understand it has more power. I just love the way that V8 sounds. Oh, he's stuck completely. Oh, he don't have the 4 by 4 yeah, my friend Steve was getting stuck a lot this day. That's the one thing. Thanks to these cars, whatever, you meet a lot of great people. Oh, no. Guys, since this is my first video, pretty much, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Comment below. Hit the thumbs up. Please share it out on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you have. Let's get the word out there about this channel. And I got a lot more very cool, exciting stuff and some new announcements coming soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.